Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. Of course I was going to do a gameplay today with Tyreek Hill, how could I not? But Kyler Murray is also super, super cheap. He's the only quarterback in the game with Slinger 4 release, and hey, why not? We picked him up too. I do give a shout out to Patrick for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also guys, Thursday Night Football is tomorrow, and if you sign up right now on Underdog Fantasy using code ZERK, they'll double your first deposit up to $100, and you get this Jalen Hurts .5 total yard special. Follow me over on Twitter for my picks. We've been just absolutely destroying it. Monday, we had over $300 in Ws, and Sunday, we had almost $1,200 in Ws. See if we can keep that up. And also, make sure you use this Tua 100K Sundays. Underdogs give away $100,000 every single Sunday of the football season. 10 people are going to win $10,000 this Sunday. That's submit an entry with this Tua. Your pick'em doesn't even have to win for you to potentially win $10,000. And you can do as little as $1 on it if you want to. Go higher or lower, doesn't matter. So Tyreek Hill, guys, 90 speed, 90 excel. Obviously, he's short at 5'9". The route running of 86, 85, and 88, very, very good. Catching traffic is low. We're a little bit worried about that, but we'll see. Uh, and then, of course, he has 88 change of direction, 89 juke move. He's going to be electric after the catch. Now, in terms of abilities, yak him up on him. And then, he they actually said on the EA stream he gets Slot Apprentice. He doesn't. And by the way, this is after I've recorded the gameplay. They have now updated Tyreek, and he does get Slot Apprentice. So, he gets outside, matchup nightmare, and runoff. Obviously, that means you're probably going to want to, you know, run Tyreek on the outside there and have outside Apprentice, other abilities, and, of course, his team camps. And then, like I said, why? Why not pick up Kyler Murray? He's super cheap, and I know you guys want to see him for the gameplay. 88 speed, 90 excel, 90 throw power. There is uh, throwing stats on the run, decent as well. And then right here, I'm running Gambit. Does not get Omaha, and also pretty much no good abilities. Like, I'm not running Quick Draw or Protected when, you know, there's Gunslinger in the game, whatever. I'll just rock no abilities on him except for the X Factor. And, of course, on the Cardinals. Now, like I said, it gets Slinger 4. Only quarterback in the game with it. So I don't know how good his release is, uh, but he's most certainly not as good as Vic. Most certainly not as good as Warren Moon. But does he slide in around RG3? Let's find out. So I got to say, I'm super, super excited to use Tyreek. But I'm also very curious to see how Kyler Murray is going to do. Since, you know, like I said, Kyler Murray, he doesn't really get good abilities. And uh, I don't have any idea how his release is gonna be All right so let's get into this and right away guys i'm running a jet sweep i am running a jet sweep with tyreek hill let's see how fast that 90 speed actually is as he almost gets first down obviously we had to go to that right off the bat second and inches coming up though and i think he's i thought he was gonna be blitzing there bo jackson big time run now with having tyreek hill obviously the catch traffic is not good so we really really want to go to him you know deep down the field obviously it's uh it's tyreek you want to go to him deep down the field as kyler murray that was a great throw on the run great throw on the run right there from kyler as here once again i'm looking at tyreek he's not going to be open but we do have jalen hyatt wide open over the middle and i didn't actually pay attention i haven't been paying attention anyways to kyler murray's release here so far so I definitely need to take a better look as we are going to have Jalen Hyatt open. That is an easy TD. Release seems pretty decent. And I know we only got the ball to Tyreek Hill there, I think, one time, but that's okay. You know, we got to spread the ball around so that my opponent doesn't think I'm just going to force feed Tyreek Hill, which is something that I find myself doing a lot in gameplays, just force feeding one guy. And then we just get shut down. So let's not do that. And that will actually lead to us being able to get the ball to Tyreek Moore as second and six coming up here. He's got the running back in the flats. Not open. We get some pressure. Let's get a sack. Okay, and I'm going to run a QB contain because it definitely seems like this guy likes to scramble, you know, to the edge here. So hopefully we can contain him as that's not open. And there we go with a sack. And I don't know what he saw, but he must have liked it. So I'm going to go ahead, switch up the coverage right here. He did run hurry up offense so i switched up the coverage We're running man now fourth and 13 coming up and i'm gonna look out over the middle bow yes cam chancellor cam chancellor there big time play i'm actually gonna run a read option right here i'm not sure if this is gonna work out and it is kyler murray with some blockers touchdown i gotta say i'm kind of enjoying this kyler murray right now definitely you know making a good impression on me here as underneath whoo cam chancellor all right second down and 10 right there i made a great hit stick with cam chancellor getting that ball knocked out again 
Second and 10 now, and okay, Jalen Hyatt wide open. Okay, second down and three coming up here, and once again, I just got stuck on a D-lineman. This is not good. Can I get a block shed or something? He's just wide open. That was absolutely terrible. Okay, so he's down to the 14-yard line already. This guy is absolutely zooming down the field as he's going to motion over with Jerry Rice. Barely gets the clock snapped. The clock snapped. The ball snapped, and that's going to be a TD. Okay, so now let's see if we can get the ball to Tyreek Hill out here. I know he's going to be blitzing a little bit still. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, this is perfect. Go, Tyreek. Why did we get that terrible animation that came at a touchdown if we could have gotten a better animation right there you know like a quicker animation that could have potentially been a this is td tyree kill he's gone 90 speed tyree kill right down the seams do not get caught tyreek let's go all right so tyree kill i know that's what you guys wanted to see right there showing off the speed and that little bit of extra speed that he has guys that's the difference right there between a touchdown and getting caught by literally any of those other guys right there having that 90 speed was the difference by the way uh, i just gotta say this kyler murray he is kind of impressing me right now like i'm liking the scrambling ability the speed obviously that he has as well as cromarty why does cromarty always get that animation and never a pick i swear to you i've seen cromarty do that probably like 10 times and just never come down with the actual interception. For some reason, he just does not like to actually pick things as great throw over the middle, Shanti. All right, fourth down and 10. I'm sending a bit of a blitz at this guy, so we'll see if it gets there as that's gonna be open. Yep, I saw it. I knew it was gonna be open, but I didn't have enough time to make the switch. Okay, I'm gonna send a blitz again, but I'm gonna change it up just a little bit here. And I knew he was gonna go to Shannon Sharp too. Come on, get the punch out. Defense in Madden 24. It is so hard. It, I swear to you guys, it does not matter, you know, who you have out here on your team. Defense is still hard to play as... I mean, can't, literally could it be any better timing. Like, please, somebody out there explain to me what I do on a play like that to not get, you know, Jerry Rice teabagging me. There's literally nothing that I could have possibly done right there as that should be a pick. I was there with my user. I literally knew that was coming. I was right there with my user to make a play on that ball as second and goal. Wow, that's a, that's a great RPO. I don't know what I was doing with my user there. Oh, Tyreek Hill. Oh, Tyreek Hill. We're going to get a kick return touchdown with 90 speed Tyreek Hill. This could not be a better showcasing as to why you need this card. Although I'll be honest, I mean, you can get kick return touchdowns with a lot of other cards as well. You know, Deion Sanders has me a lot of kick return TDs. You don't necessarily need Tyreek for kickoffs, but sure doesn't hurt to have 90 speed second down and 10 now and i gotta look out for jerry these double crossers i know that's what he wants to go to and i would really was hoping that one of my deep players would be able to make a play on the ball if he threw that let's go man good play Dion. okay and now once again he's gonna expect this but i really don't care i want to run another jet sweep here with tyreek didn't really work out too well. And so far, we've made a lot of plays with this Tyreek Hill already, right? We already have the kick return touchdown. Uh, we already have the one, you know, big time touchdown as well. But we have not thrown the ball deep to him. And we're not going to be able to here either as he wasn't open. Jerry Rice open underneath though. Listen, I'm going to have to really pay attention to Kyler Murray's release when I'm like editing this gameplay. But I'm pretty sure like he's actually making a ton of the throws right now. Oh, I want to try it. Oh, we've got to. Oh, what am I doing? I threw it in the triple cup, quadruple coverage. See, now that's the throw that I would not make if I wasn't doing a Tyreek Hill gameplay, but something in my head said, launch it. And I had to. Listen, my head said, launch it to Tyreek Hill, right? The people want to see Tyreek Hill going deep, but yeah, you guys can tell with the defense that he's uh, running here, he's literally just trying to prevent Tyreek from going deep. So we may not be able to complete a deep ball to Tyreek, but I got to say, I mean, even on that deep release right there, uh, again, I have to take a look, but Kyler looked like he actually threw that ball pretty quick. Like, Slinger 4 might actually be pretty good as Ed Reed. Drive on the ball. Not exactly sure what Ed Reed was doing right there, but my opponent now is down to the 28. We cannot allow a touchdown, okay? No touchdowns. Absolutely no touchdowns here, and I think we'll be okay as, once again, he's going to go underneath. I'll, I'll give you that. Oh, no, I got stuck on the D-line. This is not good. He's got Jalen Hyatt. Oh, he had Hyatt. Like, I'm pretty sure my opponent right there just had Jalen Hyatt for a touchdown, and he completely missed him as Dion grabbed the ball. It's right there. Dion, man, you got to grab that ball. You just have to. You have to grab that ball right there as my opponent now is at the 15 still. Got to put up a QB spy. 
watch out for the outside. I know he wants to try to throw a corner. Like, I absolutely know that he's going to try to throw a corner or the running back, something. What is that? How did he get open? Oh, no way. No way. Am I going to get another kick return touched? No. And my opponent was very smart there. He did not kick to Tyreek Hill. He actually kicked it to Jalen Hyatt. And if that's Tyreek there, you know, with more speed, that potentially is a touchdown. Like, that probably is going to be a kick return TD right before half. All right, so he keeps throwing to the flats. Now I'm going to try to mix it up here, cover the flats. But if Shannon Sharp goes deep, I've got a cover on him. And he didn't go deep. Everything is completely clamped. Absolutely clamped. Now, here's the thing, though, right? He probably just saw exactly what I was running, and he ran hurry up. Yeah, you're not going to get that same coverage again and again. What did I say? Cromartie gets the animation every time. It's like he just can't intercept the ball. I, I don't know what it is. My Cromartie cannot intercept the ball. I just got stuck on d -Ware. This is pretty bad as I'm going to send the spy after him. Yeah, that was pretty bad, and he somehow was able to complete that ridiculous all right that was pretty bad right there but my opponent's gonna be looking to go deep here actually no once again underneath let me get a fumble please okay and now he's at the five yard line here second and goal once again going back to the run game with bo jackson who is tired and once again he is running hurry up again and i do have deflator on cam chancellor so you know every time that i hit bo jackson he gets more and more tired if he runs the ball here he has a you know pretty likely chance of fumbling if i hit stick him as that's not going to be open back in the end zone he stepped out thank you and on fourth and goal he's going to go for it i expect an rpo and actually wow wasn't an rpo but that also didn't work so it wasn't an rpo but it still didn't work and here we're just going to run our own rpo get a couple yards we got to try to just get away from the end zone here so we can actually try to throw the ball a little bit so second down i am going to run again with bo jackson yes we got a first okay we're good that's truly all i really wanted to do right there was to just make sure we had enough time to throw the football so now let's see as we should get Tyreek Hill. Yup, Tyreek. Look at that 90 speed. Even underneath, obviously, versus man, you're going to get open. Versus man coverage, though, obviously, you have just no chance. Second and two coming up, and I really want to go deep. We're going to do it. Whoa, look at him. He would have beat him. He would have beat him. Just give me one more second of time there, and that is most certainly going to be a catch as great throw under pressure. Like, this Kyler's good. I can't lie to you guys. This Kyler Murray, I mean, you guys are seeing it. He is slinging it as Tyreek Hill. There we go. Beautiful ball placement, and that's a TD. I gotta say, like, I, I know this is a Tyreek Hill gameplay, and Tyreek is very, very impressive right now. You guys are seeing pretty much everything you thought you would see at a Tyreek Hill, but... Can we talk about that Kyler Murray card? He's actually slinging really good. Of course, if you want a fast right-handed quarterback that also has good accuracies, all that, well, you have RG3, but I mean, I, I don't know officially. I guess I have to watch back in the gameplay, but I feel like his release is definitely better than the free RG3s, right? Third down and goal coming up, and he's at the 11-yard line. I don't know why he's trying to run the ball. Because now it's fourth and goal, and obviously he's got to go for this year. Let's see if he tries to run the RPO again, and he did not. Gonna look out underneath, make a play on the ball. All right, so the two-minute warning just hit, and we're obviously gonna try to just win this game here, but I tried to throw that out to Tyreek. All right, second down and 13, and once again, we're gonna go to the run game. Look at Tyreek Hill actually getting a pretty good block out there, and that's a first down. All right, and on second down and two, he obviously expects this right like i've ran this three times so far today so he's got to expect it but it doesn't matter tyree kill jet sweep and that just won us the game and my opponent guys i went to go ahead and kneel the ball out he just took three offside so we won the game so i gotta say absolutely impressive with both tyree kill and also with uh kyler murray but tyreek four catches 144 yards i actually thought i got a lot more catches than that but doesn't even matter you guys saw what you need to see right four catches 144 yards two touchdowns also had the one catch up the seam broke away from everybody uh, i did also have you know three carries for 21 yards a broken tackle on that uh the game winning rush out of him and we also had a kick return td three return attempts 147 yards and a td just nasty 100 yard kick return that was the return 100 yards longest return of 100 yards said kyler murray massively impressed like seriously impressed uh went nine for 11 248 yards three tds the one interception which i just tried to launch it but 
I mean, I feel like his release was good. Average time to throw, you guys can see, 2.81 seconds. And then rushing, one carry, 18 yards, and the TD, it was the read option. This card's actually, like, pretty good. So Kyler Murray, I actually like this card quite a bit, to be completely honest with you. I don't know for a fact, but I feel like his release might be better than that RG3. Speed, really, really good. Honestly, very, very solid, but again, I know if you have RG3 for free, you're probably not getting Kyler Murray, and then Warren, Moon, and Vic, I still would take over Kyler, but very impressive. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it, hit that sub button down below. I low-key might actually use this Kyler Murray a little bit longer and test out if maybe Kyler should be over Warren Moon. We'll see. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.